Hey, look, I get it. That saying crypto at this point, well, probably makes some eyes twitch. <laughs> Still, apparently mining Bitcoin makes a lot of money for some people. But mining requires a lot of electricity. Curious, I decided to look into whether you can use solar panels to meet these needs. Hey, I'm Jason. And in this video, I'm going to share what I've learned about mining crypto with solar. Now, before anything, what do I mean by mining crypto? Well, you see, cryptocurrency is basically data. When you make a cryptocurrency transaction, the network has to verify and confirm it. In practice, this means that computers in the network have to solve a puzzle in order to add your transaction to the log and update the info for all the other members of the network. What crypto miners do is run these computers that solve algorithms and keep the crypto network working. For computational work that these computers do, miners get a small amount of cryptocurrency for helping to secure the system. This way, everyone agrees on the history of transactions, making it nearly impossible to cheat. Now, to do mining, you primarily need computational power. That is, powerful computers. But to run these computers, you need a lot of electricity. I've heard a lot of stories about how the electric bills for crypto miners are astronomical. Now, solar panels, they're quite good at eliminating bills. So, hey, I thought to myself, well, perhaps I'm onto something here. Now, on paper, the idea looks pretty good. You install some solar panels and continuously generate electricity during the day, powering your computers. If there is any excess, you send it into the grid and even get a credit for it. At night, electric rates are lower, so they're not as big of a problem. Hey, you can even install a battery, something like a, like a power wall, to charge it with solar energy during the day and drain it at night. The battery would also help a lot with keeping mining going. It would protect your home from power outages. In theory, if the bank and a solar system are large enough, then you don't need to buy electricity from the grid and can have a fully autonomous mining farm. Besides, there are also governmental incentives that help you to get a solar system or a battery cheaper, give you good loans and tax deductions. Solar panels themselves are cheaper than ever. So it really does look like a profitable investment. And don't forget, it's clean energy. So you don't hurt the environment as much. Now, this all sounds pretty good so far, right? Well, I thought to myself, and then I discovered that only around 5% of all crypto mining is done using solar energy. Honestly, not a lot. But why is that? Well, the first big problem with using solar panels to mine cryptocurrency is the fact that solar panels don't work at night. Ah, it didn't look like a big deal to me at first, but the matter of fact is that crypto mining is a 24-7 operation. The computers must be running at all times. Now, if you invest in a solar system and it only powers your crypto mining farm during the day, well, then you cut your electric expenses only by, well, say a half. But what about batteries? Well, batteries are actually very expensive. And it's something that anybody would be able to feel when we move on to our second and the main problem, which is the scale of operations. Now, the thing that I didn't get initially about mining cryptocurrency is just how much electricity it actually demands. But what is there to power? I mean, what does a crypto farm look like anyway? Well, imagine a warehouse with rows and rows of powerful computers inside. This is what a typical crypto mining farm looks like. Now, these farms consist of mining rigs that use specialized chips called ASICs, uh, application-specific integrated circuits. Others have GPUs, which are graphics processing units. Now, the more GPUs and ASICs are in a rig, the faster it can solve the puzzles and earn cryptocurrency. Now, a small mining farm can have dozens of rigs. A big one would use thousands. A typical mining rig may consume anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 watts, as far as I've learned. So let's say we have the most basic rig that is rated for 1,000 watts. We would need two 500-watt solar panels to power it during the daytime, well, three in fact, since solar panels deliver about 25% less than their rated output in real world conditions. But now what if we decide to add batteries and run the rig solely on solar power? Well, the rig would need about 24 kilowatt hours per day. It's just slightly less than the daily power consumption of an average American household. To build a system that would produce 24 kilowatt hours over the daytime, you would need about 12 500 watt solar panels plus a suitable battery system. And now what's crazy is that it's just one not so powerful rig and it would consume the same amount of energy that all the other household appliances need daily. 
If we have two mining rigs, you'll need 24 panels. If we have 100 rigs, we'll need 1,200 panels. It's a huge project which is likely to take up about an acre of land. What's more, I don't think that running the rigs by themselves are the end of the story. The computers that are kept running at all times need constant cooling to prevent overheating. And this is why we also need fans or air conditioning systems. In comparison to the rigs themselves, the electric needs of an AC system for them would be, will be pretty minor, but substantial nonetheless. By the way, we recently had a video on how many solar panels you would need to run an aircon. I suggest that you go check it out. All in all, we're talking about mining cryptocurrency with solar energy. It's really not like you can just decide to get a few panels for your computers. A couple of panels won't even make a big difference, even if your project is small. If you decide to go big, then building a solar farm for your crypto farm will require a big investment of resources, not only money, but also time and effort in terms of approving your project. You're going to need panels, you're going to need inverters, batteries, land, and it's not to mention logistical and installation costs. When I look at this, it's not too surprising anymore that solar energy is just not popular for crypto mining. So what kind of energy do miners use then? Well, Bitcoin Mining Council claims that Bitcoin mining is powered by roughly 58% renewable energy. It's primarily hydroelectric power. The rest of the 40% comes from using fossil fuels. And when I look at how much energy goes towards mining, it actually seems like a big problem. In 2023, global Bitcoin mining used over 121 terawatt hours of electricity, as much as the entire country of the Netherlands, with a population of more than 17 million people. In the US, cryptocurrency mining represents about 2% of electricity consumption, according to the administration. But another way I see it, the numbers are only going to grow as we start to use blockchain technology more and more. Not just for cryptocurrencies. Add to this the fact that AIs demand massive amounts of electricity to operate. And you can see how fast our energy demands are going to grow in the next few decades. So how are we going to meet them? Well, we need to figure out a solution to this and fast. But back to our big question, is solar powered crypto mining viable? Well, look, you can do it. I mean, it can be done, but it's difficult. It requires huge money investments, plus time and effort to set up, simply because the power consumption of equipment for mining is much greater than anything that you have at home. Now, since I don't want to sound too skeptical, I want to bring up the fact that many people already do do it. And some of them are very outspoken about how it works. I first heard about solar crypto mining from Ash Andrews in a BBC documentary about cryptocurrency. Then there are quite a few YouTubers that experiment with solar energy and try to figure out if the panels can be used for mining. And to name a few, it's Peter Crazy Dane, Thomas Miata, Brian Harrington and more. I'll leave a, leave a link to some of them in the description. Now with this, it's all from me on this one <laughs> again. I'm not a crypto expert by any means, so please feel free to point out things that we might have gotten wrong in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check out A1 Solar Store. Jason, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.